And now let's talk about how to create three dimensional arrays and higher dimensions as well. So in the previous video, we have defined a two dimensional array, which is a matrix. So as you can see, matrix has two dimensions, row and columns. So row is the first dimension and the column is the second dimension. So it's a two dimensional array. So th this is the first row. This is the first row of our matrix. This is the second row of our matrix. And this is the third row of our matrix. And as a matter of fact, a two dimensional array is a bunch of is a bunch of one dimensional arrays. So as you can see, here is a two dimensional array or let's say a matrix and a matrix is a bunch of vectors. This is the first vector or as a matter of fact, the first row. This is the second vector or as a matter of fact, the second row. And this is the third row or let's say the third vector. So as a matter of fact, a two dimensional array is a bunch of one dimensional arrays. And with induction, we can say that a three dimensional array is a bunch of two dimensional arrays. And let's take an example. Suppose that we want to create a three dimensional array with this shape. You can see two by two by three. And as I have told you, a three dimensional array is, as a matter of fact, a bunch of two dimensional arrays. So here is our two dimensional array. And as you can see, a two dimensional array is a matrix. So this is a two by three matrix and a three dimensional array like this is a bunch of is a bunch of two dimensional arrays is a bunch of matrices so let's create a three dimensional array with this shape in order to better understand all the stuff so in order to create that we can simply type np dot array and we should open a square bracket and also the pycharm closes the uh, ending square bracket and i press enter so that's it and in bet between these two square brackets, I should define two matrices and each of those matrices are a two by three matrix. So the, the our matrix, our first matrix should have two rows and three columns. So the first row is, for example, one, two, three, and the second row is four, five, and six. So this is the first matrix, which you can see it has two rows. This is row one, and this is row two. And as you can see, each row has three columns. So as a matter of fact, this is a matrix, and its shape is a two by three matrix. So this is the first matrix. And we should define another, we should define another two by three matrix because the shape of our 3D array is two of two by three matrices. So that's it. Let's create another one. So again, we want to define a matrix. So for example, these are, let's say seven, eight, nine. And the second row is for example, 10, 11, and 12. So this is another matrix. This is the first matrix. And this is the second matrix. And as you can see, our three dimensional array is a bunch of two dimensional arrays, or let's say a bunch of matrices. So let's sort this in a variable, let's say called B. And now, for example, if I print the shape of B, so B dot shape, and if I run the code, we can see the shape of B is two by two by three. And also I can print the number of dimension of B. So I can simply type print B dot number of dimension. And if I run the code, you can see the number of dimension is three. But as it is obvious, A, which is a matrix, is a two dimensional array. So if I print the number of dimensions of A, you can see the output is two because A is a matrix. So it's a two dimensional array but B is a three dimensional array. And again, with induction, you can define higher dimensional arrays as well, but the general idea is the same. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.